Amidst the enchanting village of Acornshire, nestled where rolling hills met the azure sky, lived two kindred spirits. Noah, a furry brown dog whose tail wagged like a metronome of happiness, and Abigail, a graceful black cat with eyes as green as the meadows and a purr that wove soothing spells. Their companionship was a symphony of differences, harmonising perfectly. Noah's boisterous playfulness danced hand in hand with Abigail's serene wisdom, their bond a testament to the magic of friendship. One luminous dawn, as the sun unveiled its radiant hues above the whispering trees, a delicate melody sung by the wind whispered a dire secret into the ears of Noah and Abigail. The heart of Acornshire, the village they held dear, languished in the clutches of a sorrowful spell. Houses that once bloomed like wildflowers had lost their luster, gardens that burst with colours now drooped with despair, and the villagers, like ghosts of joy, murmured tailors of a curse's cruel grip. Guided by the urgency of the wind's melody, the duo hurried along cobblestone paths to the village square, where cries of anguish painted the air. There, the forlorn visage of Gabriel, a boy with eyes as wide as the moon, came into view. Perched atop a weathered crate, his voice trembled as he revealed the village's lamentable fate. Beyond the woods, a tortoise-wise, ancient and enduring resides. If I could reach him, surely he would know the key to unravelling this sinister curse, he murmured, his head drooping in dejection. The villagers, lost in their gloom, cowered in the shadows, leaving Gabriel's pleas unanswered. Noah and Abigail exchanged a glance filled with determination. To them, retreat was inconceivable, a betrayal to their beloved village. Abigail's eyes shimmered with purpose as she locked gazes with Gabriel. Little friend, count us in on this quest to free Acornshire from its chains. Noah's tail wagged as though it had a will of its own. You've got a trio, Gabriel. Together, we'll face this challenge and bring back the laughter that once adorned our homes. With hearts as resolute as the oak that had witnessed centuries pass, the trio embarked on a journey filled with trials, testing their courage, bonds, and the essence of their spirits. Through shadowy forests, over towering mountains, and across raging rivers, they pressed forward, overcoming adversaries attempting to block their path. Their unity and the luminous strength of their hearts conquered every obstacle. After days adorned with sun-kissed skies and silvered moonlight, they reached the meadow beyond the edge of the forest. There, beneath the shade of an ancient oak, sat Tella, the venerable tortoise. His eyes, like twin lanterns of ancient knowledge, regarded them knowingly. The whispers of Acornshire's plight have reached me, my companions, Teller intoned, his voice a symphony of wisdom. But heed my words, for the path to salvation is no simple stroll. Gabriel, head held high, stepped forth. Great Teller, I am ready, whatever the trials may be. Within the whispering cave, a treasure slumbers, a treasure potent enough to vanquish the curse. But the cave's guardian is a creature fierce and unyielding, Teller foretold. Only those whose hearts bear the weight of true courage may proceed. With Teller's wisdom etched into their souls, the trio ventured into the whispering cave. Shadows embraced them, each step an echo in the depths of the earth. Fiery eyes emerged, igniting the darkness. A colossal dragon, scales adorned with stardust, voice thundering like a symphony of ancient drums. Who dares venture into my realm unbidden? She roared, flames billowing from her nostrils, a symphony of fire and might. With his friends at his side, Gabriel stepped forward to face the dragon. Mighty dragon, we seek the treasure to free Acornshire from its wretched curse, he proclaimed. The dragon's gaze softened, flames tempering to warmth. In my flights, I have observed the troubled times that plague your village but it's not treasure that will release Acornshire from the curse. You were brave to enter my lair, but to defeat the curse will take a different form of courage. Tell me, young one, are you ready to see a great task through to its final completion? 
I am ready for whatever challenge you present me with, dragon, Gabriel said, his head held high. Where Acornshire meets the Great River is an old bridge that has been washed away by the years. Go and speak to your villagers, convince them to restore the bridge. On the seventh moon after the first crossing, the curse will be lifted. The old bridge? Gabriel said in disbelief. But I'm just a boy, how will I get them to listen to me? You lack faith in your own potential, young one, but your heart is pure. From her pile of treasures, the dragon produced a necklace, a bright blue stone set in shimmering silver. This amulet is imbued with the power of persuasion. The one who wears it can bend the will of even the most callous listener. Go now and tell them all that you have learned, she said, clasping the amulet around Gabriel's neck. Returning to Acornshire, hearts brimming with newfound wisdom, the trio stepped into the town square. Ignoring their presence, the villagers trudged by. You can convince them, Gabriel, Noah said. Clutching the amulet tightly, Gabriel took a deep breath and climbed atop a pile of crates in the centre of the town square. People of Acornshire, I have ventured beyond the edge of the forest and I have learned the solution to the troubled times that have befallen our village. Some villagers stopped momentarily, but others kept walking. Go on, Abigail said, her tail twitching excitedly. Remember what the dragon said. Calling out even louder, Gabriel's voice bellowed across the town square. The dragon of the Whispering Cave has spoken to me. We must repair the old bridge that once crossed the Great River. And on the seventh moon after the first crossing, the curse will be lifted. More villagers stopped to gather around and watch the young boy making a big commotion. Gabriel looked around at the crowd that was drawing. He could feel the sharp edges of the amulet digging into his palm as he clutched it ever tighter. Who's going to do that? Voices called from the crowd. He's just a boy. More voices muttered amongst themselves. We will work together, Gabriel called out, his voice growing louder and more confident. With each word, he felt the amulet's magical energy coursing through his body, his heart beating faster and his movements growing more animated as he danced about the pile of crates. It won't be easy, but together we can overcome any challenge. Restore the bridge, a voice called out from the crowd. We're with you, boy. Another voice called out. By now, the entire village had come out to listen to the boy speak. And one by one, even the most callous listeners among them began to murmur in agreement. The next day, the villagers set about repairing the old bridge. Gabriel saw to it that they all worked together, hauling logs in from the forest, slowly restoring the crossing over the great river that once linked Acornshire to the outside world. As the days passed, Gabriel grew more confident in his abilities. With the magical amulet around his neck, he knew no challenge too great would come up. After weeks of labour, the villagers working together finished the repairs and the bridge across the great river was reborn. Bigger and stronger than before, the new bridge would let carts and villagers cross the river with ease. As the villagers waited for the seventh moon to pass, the bridge seemed to breathe new life into the village. Merchants from distant towns brought wagons full of goods across the new bridge to the town square, filled with paints and lumber and tools, allowing the villagers to restore their worn-down homes to their former vibrant colours. Shepherds in the village could now cross the river to graze their sheep in the meadows on the other side, and the flocks flourished and grew. Farmers took their produce to market in neighbouring towns, bringing back seeds and ploughs to restore old abandoned fields and coins to spend in the town square. As time flowed, the curse's chains began to loosen. Vibrant colours returned to homes and gardens, laughter rang through cobblestone streets, and the very air seemed to hum with newfound harmony. By the time the seventh moon had passed, the villagers had forgotten about the curse, and Acornville was a thriving town once more. As the months and years began to pass, 
the villagers looked to Gabriel for guidance, and he frequently spoke in the village square, ensuring that the villagers worked together to overcome whatever challenges the town faced. Gabriel grew tall and strong and led the village into a new age of prosperity. Eventually, he found that the dragon's amulet no longer fit, and so he kept it on the mantle above the hearth. And he found that even without the amulet, the villagers still looked to him for counsel and leadership. Generations danced upon the stage of time. Yet the tale of Noah, Abigail, and Gabriel's odyssey endured. Passed down like a cherished lullaby. Its essence blossomed in each child's heart, a testament to the bravery that lurked within, the treasure of friendship and the incalculable strength of kindness. In Acornshire, the village that time couldn't cradle away, the legacy of these valiant souls burned as bright as the noonday sun. United, they transformed their world, proving that courage transcends shadows, kinship is the truest treasure, and that the ripples of kindness can heal the most wounded of hearts. And so, under the endless tapestry of the sky, the spirit of Acornshire thrived. In its heart resided the echoes of laughter, the magic of compassion, and the eternal flame ignited by Noah, Abigail and Gabriel.